Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're working on the uh, the website. Uh, I've added some content to it. Uh, we're, we're using WordPress as a blog. And what you're going to see is that there's a lot of information in here. And so the more you add to the website, the longer the page gets. And what that means is, you know, eventually it's going to get pretty long and it'll take a long time to, to load it. And so what we want to do is we want the, the blog slash web page to um, paginate for us. And what that means is, is it will automatically break everything into pages so that after, you know, so many, so much content is added, um, it'll, it'll make page one, page two, page three, and it'll, it'll reduce the load times for us and just make it easier for our users to, to see the website. So let me see if I can log in here. And okay. So when it, um, and my browser's out of date, let's see if that won't hurt us here. But what we'll do, there, there are a couple different ways to do this. One way involves coding and you have to go in and uh, modify some PHP and some style sheets and stuff like that. I'm going to show you the quick way to do it without coding. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change the theme and we're going to pick a theme that um, supports pagination. So let's go install theme. And let's see, I should be able to type it in here. So this one right here, you're going to see that it already has built in uh, page navy, and that's the pagination that we were talking about. So we're just going to install this. Install now. It downloads it for us, WordPress downloads it for us automatically. And then we can preview the site. And this is the new theme. So let's get out of here, but you can view your site in that theme before you activate it. So now we're going to activate it and make it live. Okay, uh, we'll go back to the site in a minute. What I want to show you is if you're new to WordPress and you see this number up here, what it's telling us is that uh, we have an update available. So again, we can just click on this and it will install the update for us. again automatically. Okay, so now if we go back to the main site, um, it was cache, but here we go. So here's the new theme. And so when we scroll down to the bottom, we can see the next page. And so this will start to automatically break things up for us. And it'll eventually, when you have more than, uh, two pages, it'll eventually start putting numbers at the bottom. So again, this helps with load time and it's the easiest way to add pagination without, without getting into a lot of coding. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.